So what do we have here? Right now, we are moving on to a brew from Carton Brewing Company of the great state of New Jersey, Atlantic Highlands, New Jersey, to be exact. I think they're up by Asbury Park. Okay, they're up by the shore. Yep. And this is called Regular Coffee. It's an Imperial Cream Ale. It is a whopping 12% ABV. Whew. IBUs of 20, SRMs, whatever that is, of 5. Shall I read? Shall we? Shall you pour? I will pour. Pour? Give it a little I will pour. do something. On the Camela, you can pour it over there. I will do something. While you're so ready. this, a classic Jerseyism is regular coffee. Here, when you order a regular coffee at any place, you trust to make a pork roll and cheese. You get a paper cup of coffee with milk and two sugars, rather than a black coffee that hasn't had the caffeine removed. We added a coffee blend from our neighbors at Fair Mountain Coffee Roasters to a high gravity golden cream ale, contributing our milk and two sugars for an elevated version of classic plain coffee. Drink regular coffee because running over a black beer with coffee is no way to get things done. So yeah, okay. I had this maybe three years ago. I was at a little beer thing with our buddy Miracle Max over spring break and it was at Keg and Kitchen and they had like a random beer tasting. Everybody brought something and uh, John from I think it's the, the New Jersey beer thing. I can't remember the, the group he's with, but you met him before. He was pouring sure. for Weyerbacher yeah. at a couple of the events. John brought this and shared it with us, and it was really, really good. I thought it was really delicious. And, and this has been your great white whale? You've been well, searching for this for a while? I don't do beer hunting anymore. It's all serendipitous beer hunting. So I was walking past this organic market in Philly on 11th and Market. I think it's called Mom, M-O-M. -M. I don't know what they are. But, and I saw it on the counter, and I said, oh, i got to get it. So I picked up a four pack, and hopefully it's as good as I remember. So Great. anyway, let's go in. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, color wise, it's a little cloudy. It's, oh. a, it's a little bit cloudy. There's not much in the way of foam or header lacing. I do not understand how it's this light, but smells like a cup of coffee. It smells like a cup of coffee. It's you know, and and you know, you want your beer to taste like beer with other flavors in it. You don't want to taste like something else, but. I remember enjoying this three years ago. I, I hope at, I enjoyed it as much I, as time. I look at this and I think it's going to smell like a lager. Maybe or like, an IPA. Maybe like an IPA. Maybe get a little citrus, some sort of candied orange to it. And instead, this smells like it should be it smells, as black as night. It smells like a regular coffin. You know, like you just went into the... Uh, the club diner and you ordered your pork yep. roll egg and cheese yes, like they said my pork roll egg and cheese now you won't order a cup of coffee but you'll have a cup of black tea i get uh i would probably if i was going in for a, an after event mm -hmm. you know i'm a chocolate milkshake guy oh that's Gotta true tamp everything down that's true. did we cheers did we toast we'll toast now cheers to that cheers, cheers to the great fine cheers. garden state and pork roll egg and cheese well that's awfully good i'm a scrapple guy if you go to the diner i do like scrapple because only at the diner can you get the scrapple prepared correctly I just took a taste. And my God, if it doesn't taste like a cup of coffee. You know, it's not very fizzy. It's not very carbonated. No, but it's, it's not very a lot creamy. of heavy tension. It's very, very it's creamy. It's like a creamed cup of coffee. Yeah, it is. It is. It's It's a total mind game. It's, it's interesting. It is exactly what they said it was. And I think that's pretty cool. I just was pretty impressed with it. And you know what? I like it again. I think this is a pretty damn, pretty damn good, fine cup of beer. And for, glass of beer. and for I had mean, to go look again. Uh, 12%. For a cup of coffee, the IBUs are pretty low, and it's twelve percent. So this is going down awfully good, awfully mm -hmm. quick. And uh, for a non-coffee drinker, I'm uh, I'm drinking coffee now. Yeah, it's not bad. It's it's this is a really nice. I think it's a pretty nice beer. I mean, the yes, cream it's ale beer. It's a good beer. doesn't really do it for me or anything like that. It's like it usually doesn't have a whole lot of flavor to it. You know, it's kind of bland. So what you're saying is this is a Genesee that they've just kicked it up a notch? Oh, they kicked it up about, <laughs> about 12 kicked notches. Up a notch. They kicked it up about 12 the notches. Genesee is believing? Yeah. No, that, no, is no. A, that is a very good beer. That is nice. That's very good. Very good. Um, and again, uh, uh, the one big knock I have for a lot of these beers that over coffee, that use it as, a, mm. is it, it gets to be almost acrid. It gets to be like the coffee grounds at the end of the yeah. night. And I'm not getting that. You get the good, rich coffee flavor, but you mm. don't get the bitterness that you typically get with no. some of these, where it gets to be almost but too much. You know what it is? It's the cream. Because oh, the I cream so. cuts the bitterness. I suppose so. Like, 
Like the English, right? Don't they drink tea with milk? Tea with milk. Because that cuts Depending the, on the tea. Right. But that, like a black tea, you want some milk yeah, in it just to cut that. Because otherwise it is a little bit, a little bit, like you said, acrid yeah. or bitter or you get that astringency. It's, it's in, instead of the cocoa nibs, it's the coffee grounds. That yeah. This is, it's just a really well-crafted beer. And again, at 12%, it's going down awfully fast. It goes down really, really so, fast. So, uh, you know, I'm glad we're spilling a can and no one's yes. driving anywhere. No, no, no. Now, what did this cost for a four-pack? Uh, it was a little pricey, but I did buy it at the organic market, so it was like 16 bucks for a four-pack. So, four bucks a can? Four bucks a can, but it's also and 12%. It, and so. if you had this out, they'd give you a seven-ounce pour in a little bit. Probably, glass. yeah, like an eight-ounce. But they'd probably charge you eight bucks. Right. So... No, it's not bad, but, you know... It's, it's not bad. You're used it's to seeing bad. $10, yeah. 12 dollars for it's a six-pack. Yeah. This is, you know, $16 for a yeah. four-pack. But, but still... It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's not... It's not... It, it could be more. It could no. be worse. And it's seasonal, too. I don't think this comes out all year round, so it's something okay. special. Nice. So, anyway, so I give it a solid A. I think oh, yeah, it's, I think a, it's a nine. I'd say that's a 92, 93 in my book. It is a delicious beer. That's it's good. It's a very, very delicious beer. And I got three more, so. Uh, will I see any of those? Probably yes. not. It's like a hostage situation. Oh, absolutely <laughs> you will. You will absolutely see these again. <laughs> I've got three more. You've got zero. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, cheers to the fine cheers. folks at Carton Brewing. Keep it coming, folks. Oh, absolutely. Thank Keep you. Keep it coming.